In the last video, we got learned about real solvation energy, which can be determined experimentally. Today, we consider what the chemical energy of solvation is. Some potential jump occurs at the solution air interface due to a certain orientation of the solvent dipoles, so called surface potential. Therefore, the energy effect that accompanies the transfer of a charged particle across the air solution interface from point 2 to point 3 reflects not only the ion dipole interaction, but also the electrical work which will be equal. The change in free energy caused only by interaction of ions with solvent dipoles and attributed to the mole of ions is called the chemical solvation energy. Thus, real and chemical solvation are related by the formula. Only the real solvation energy can be determined experimentally. On the other hand, all model calculation methods give the chemical energy of solvation and, therefore, rigorous experimental verification of these methods is impossible. Therefore, it is necessary to achieve the consistency of results within the framework of various model calculations. One method is based on a model calculation of the chemical energy of hydration. Another way is to decompose the experimental value into two terms. For example, the Bernal and Fowler method assumes that for potassium and fluorine ions, Since these ions have approximately the same radii, however, the values of the chemical solvation energy for the same ion can vary greatly. These differences exceed the potential error in estimating the surface potential. Therefore, the most accurate values of the chemical solvation energy can be calculated using the values of the real solvation energy, and the values of the surface potential obtained on the basis of model estimates. 